So today we're going to be talking about different types of blade safeties. We'll have another video on this with more stuff that's more in the workshop because right now the workshop is very busy. We're going to focus on three types of blades. A jigsaw blade, or like a saw blade. Scissors, which can be dangerous. And a box knife. Uh, for lack of a better example, at the moment, we'll be using a jigsaw. Most of the times you will be using jigsaw for wood when you're uh, cutting out your prototypes. So what you want to do is either use a trash can or a table and make sure it's over the edge. You never want it to be inside that trash can or table. You want to know where you're cutting. You want to make sure your blade is long enough so you're not going only part of the way through. You want to hold down on the other end. And you just want to cut through. If you go too slow, what ends up happening is you, kept, you get caught and it's even more dangerous. So you don't, want to, you don't always want to go insanely fast, but you don't want to always go slow because that can be more dangerous. Next, we'll be talking about scissors, used for a plethora of things, plastic, paper, cardboard. This is also very dangerous because if you accidentally, let's say, are doing this, if you're, cutting, if you're cutting your piece, and whoa, that's extremely dangerous. You don't want to be cutting your finger. And with all these things, you always want to make sure you have a sharp blade because a dull blade is always, always much more dangerous than a sharp blade. This is because a sharp blade will, if you do cut yourself, it will be a clean cut. With a dull blade, it will drag and tear instead of cleanly going through. But just an example, I'm gonna cut this piece of cardboard off. Now, the box cutter is also used for a plethora of things. Cutting foam for maybe your uh, work desk or workshop. Cardboard for maybe if you're using a laser cutter or things like that. Cutting tape. But you always remember need to make sure you use it safely. This is one of the more sharper ones. That was, ser that was serrated and that's more pressure with two sharp edges. As you can see, it is very, very thin and this will cause it to cut deeper. So, you always wanna make sure you're cutting above something. So I'm gonna put the piece of cardboard down and cut my foam how I want it. You wanna make sure you're stable on one of your sides and you wanna make sure no fingers are toward you and you wanna try and always cut away from yourself. Because if I were to cut and it were, if I were to cut, let's say if I was cutting it and it goes in, it's going right into my leg or into my body. So if you're ever come, cutting something in the air, you never want to really cut it like this. You want to cut it away from you. So if I'm cutting like this, into my body. Or if I drop it, it may hurt someone else. As well with these, if people are close to you, you want to make sure you are within a certain amount of range. So let's say I'm going like this and I slip and it goes back and it cuts up. So let's just show how do I so remember, don't cut towards yourself like this, cut away. And make sure people aren't in this area. And then we have a nice clean cut that is nice and safe. If it were a dull blade, you'd be trying to pull it through. You'd be really trying to pull it through instead of it cutting through. And what would end up happening is you would even most likely hit it into your leg. Very dangerous. Thank you for watching. Be safe with blades.